Tell us something about Myra as a person. Okay, let me tell you Myra as a person. She's an extrovert, adventurous, silent prankster, loves to go out and enjoy, and above all, I value people's emotions and always love to dream. Yeah, that's probably what Myra is as a person. So tell us something about your journey of becoming an MC from the beginning till now. Well, Myra as an MC as a journey started way back when I was 16 years old. So from 16 years old there was no turning back where uh literally it was working hard where we had events once a year and that was kind of heartbreaking. and my journey probably went from hard work to striving thriving and and then suddenly i had a dream a dream of me holding a mic and standing in the middle of the stage so i said why not go and give it a try so from there i went from once a year to having an event once a month to having an event once a week and then probably to where i am right now what were the challenges and struggles you faced my struggles i would say in every field there are struggles but in my case i had to face a lot of criticism a lot of insults also were there a lot of depriving motivation because no one used to listen to me because i was small i was 16 years old who would listen right that was a past but then also another thing which was important and which changed my life entirely was harassment cases that's also another struggles we we'll face then and now what is the difference that you have noticed as an mc my back then well ladies and gentlemen if you all know that that you know because denzel baba faz is turning 21 years old sorry night 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 is turning 21 years old Not really that was fine in the past, but now she's more capable, she's more confident. She can talk and communicate with anybody, and where anybody starts. That's my everyday. What are the traits and the quality you had to pick up to become an MC? Hmm. Qualities that I had to pick up to become an MC. Well, for, as a little girl, I always saw how others used to do their MCing, and you know how they used to conduct the wedding, and how everybody would listen to them. And I thought that was really mesmerizing. Having many people listen to you, why wouldn't you want to be an MC man? The their speech, their vocabulary, it mesmerized me. And the magic tone that he used on everybody, well, that magic worked on me. And right now, it moved me to be am an MC myself. The most questions you have been asked during any event you do. Questions asked during an event. Hi, hi, lovely performers. From where you get your energy? Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Can I have your number? My number. Okay. Hey, how old are you? Are you married? Do you have a boyfriend? My brother is looking out for a girl. <sighs> I give up on those. Where do you see yourself in five years? Ah, five years down the line. Hmm. Let me see. Well, you remember of the dream I was telling you, standing in the middle of the stage with having all the audience. Well, my dream is to make that multiple into ten times. Well, the stage is ten times bigger, the audience too, and also me standing on the grand stage. Five years down the line, you will see me on a mega stage. What is your take on female MCs? Would you encourage more female MCs to venture into being one? I would only say that in our previous generation, the older generations, women was not given much of the rights that they had to speak or anything. But well, now times have changed, and it's very important to use that freedom. So becoming a female MC is not only showing the glamour, the makeup, or anything. It's about showing true talent. So if you have that talent, why not go forward? And if you are the woman who determines you following your dreams, why not go forward? That's all I can say for the new female MCs. 
what message would you like to give to people who are procrastinating over following their passion well if you're a person who wants to go further and pursue their passion whether you're a boy or girl dreaming doesn't limit to anybody anybody and everybody can dream where you've seen so many famous people who have achieved their de- dream at whatever age and whatever gender that they are and what i can tell you is being a dreamer is not a problem but being the person who goes forward and achieves them that's the winner so if it is a dream that doesn't allow you to sleep don't sleep just run for it and never give up because you got to see what you can do once when you never give up you got to check your capabilities go ahead and do that and my final question is what is mc giri with myra all about hmm well mc giri with myra MC Giri with Myra basically was started for all the people to know what are the back stories of the event related items be it the people their stories their motivation their inspiration and lots more and people from different field coming together that's what MC Giri Myra was all about and right now what MC Giri with Myra is Dada Giri but in event style Hey everybody I hope you have enjoyed this video Well, first and foremost, a big shout out to all those people who have asked me the questions, and I hope you all are satisfied with my answers. Well, this uh, whole video was based on the experience and about me being on a journey of MC Myra De Costa. Well, today's special thing has been already done, but please stay tuned for more videos because next time we're getting a special guest with us, and I promise you all, it's going to be very entertaining, very creative, and very innovative. But till then. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video and also I will see you all to next Tuesday. Until then take care, be safe. Bye bye. Take care everybody.